Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here, and this is my video regarding the matter, does The Walking Dead suck now? Honestly, the answer to that question is yes, The Walking Dead does suck now. Season 7 was not that good, and then season 8, we all expected it to be the redemption, and then it was even worse! It was fucking worse! Just... God damn! I mean, there's so many problems right now. The the way they killed off Carl was lame. I mean, they haven't, you know, killed him yet, but they pretty much killed him. The trash people, the trash people pretending to help Rick, then they don't want to help. Then they pretend to help Rick, and then they don't want to help. And the fact that they exist in general is just awful. I mean, this is supposed to be two years into the apocalypse. So maybe 730, 800, 900 days of zombies walking around. And you got these people that look like they're from ancient fucking, like, caveman era of Earth. And, and they're, like, they're dirty, and they, they don't even talk right. They, like, create their own language. Those are the kind of people that you encounter 20 years into the apocalypse. Not two years. Not two fucking years. 20 years. 30 years. That's when you encounter those kind of people. Scott Kimball just shoved them in there because he likes the trash people. You can tell he likes the trash people. That's why he hasn't killed them off yet, even though everyone hates them. They're making it to the back half of season 8. And just like, god damn it. I can't wait until they die. And there's just so many problems right right now. So many problems. The, the, what they've done with Daryl... They're pretty much, they've pretty much made Daryl a villain. They've put Daryl on Negan's team. They, they've pretty much... I think... I have a theory. Daryl is a double agent for Negan. That's why he keeps screwing up everything. That's why he keeps get, like getting into fights. Um, you know, that's why he got Glenn killed. You know, that's why he tried to throw grenades into the sanctuary and blow up innocent families, innocent children, because he wants to kill the saviors. You know, fuck everyone else. Fuck what everyone else... Fuck what everyone else says. Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Daryl wants this, so fuck what everyone else wants. Then he drives a truck into the sanctuary, and they get out. And it might be his fault. We don't know for sure yet. So anyone that dies in the back half of season 8, it might be because stupid Daryl refused to listen to the hundreds of people that were telling him to wait, and then he crashed his truck into the sanctuary. And just this season in general has just been a mess. This first half... Um, you know, when the first time they had the close-ups of the faces, I was like, okay, that's, that's kind of cool. But once they get, once they do it for like the 12th time, it's like, you're just trying to do filler, aren't you? you there's no, there's absolutely nothing you're putting in this episode, so you keep having close-ups of characters' faces. There was like episode 6, episode 7 of this season. I don't even remember those episodes. I know no, no one died. Nothing happened. It was just filler. And then episode 8 was okay. I mean, you know, they killed off Carl. Um, and the dialogue. The dialogue is so bad now. Everyone keeps saying stuff that human beings do not say. Between Ezekiel and Negan and the Saviors and Rick and all these characters saying dialogue that no human being says. This was not a problem in the first season of The Walking Dead. They Scott Gamble came in and he just fucked everything. I'm trying to think what else are the problems. Oh, the filler, the filler. There's so much filler. You can tell there's so much filler. There's so, there's there have been like four or five episodes in this first half of the season. Where it seemed like nothing happened. There was no character development, there was no big moments. Nothing happened. This is all out war. Season 7 was bad. You were supposed to redeem yourselves. Scott Kimple said the, f the first four episodes would be mind melting. What was mind melting? That stupid, ridiculous twist of Morales being back only to die five minutes later? Give me a break. Yeah, mind melting, whatever. Just the editing is sloppy, uh, the, the flashbacks or, of Rick being an old man, or whatever, whatever that is. We still don't know what that is. We still haven't gotten another clue. By the time we, we get back to that, people are going to forget about it because it was like 15 episodes ago. We had those weird flashbacks in the first episode. Red Eye Rick, and then Rick's an old man, and then it's the current time, and then Rick's an old man again. Like, what? And you don't even follow up with it. it we're... 
seven episodes later and we still don't know what that means. We, we haven't gotten a single hint. There's not a single scene, a single flash forward or whatever. We don't know what it means. By the time we find out what those moments meant, we're going to forget about it. And just everything is wrong with this show. The budget, you can tell the budget is low. The budget has always been low with The Walking Dead. That's why there's always all these episodes where it's just one character or two characters. I hate that. I hate it when you go f five episodes, and if you're watching it live, that's five weeks, plus commercials. You watch it once a week on Sunday, and then it's two characters you don't care about. Okay, you wait till the next week, then it's two characters you don't care about. Okay, you wait the next week, and then it's two characters you don't care about. And then you get to the end of the eight episodes, and you gotta wait two and a half months for the next episode. It's just awful. And I don't know about you, but I don't give a shit about anyone. I don't care about the characters. I don't care about Rick. I don't care about Michonne. They don't seem like real characters anymore. They just seem like they do whatever the plot requires them to do. They say whatever the plot requires them to say. Everyone has been injected with high traces of Gimple speak. And Gimple speak is when characters just say ridiculous shit and you know G Scott Gimple wrote it. And it's awful and it's horrible. And it's just a mess. The Walking Dead has become a mess. Season 8 was supposed to be its redemption because Season 7 was a mess. And a big part of this is AMC. AMC are a cheap ass motherfucking corporation. They don't give The Walking Dead any money for each episode. They don't give The Walking Dead any money. There's no money. Their budgets are so low, that's why there's so many filler episodes where nothing happens. And all those moments this season where characters are just going just five minutes of characters going It's like they're shooting at nothing. There's so many times so many times where characters have had chances to kill Negan and they don't. They don't kill Negan. N Negan stands right in front of them and they don't take a shot. They Nothing. The plot armor is so obvious. It's the dialogue, the character development, the budget, the filler. <laughs> Everything is bad. I remember the first season when, where there was like 10, 12 characters I liked. Even season three and season four had a bunch of characters I like. Now it's like, who, who should I root for? Negan, who's just annoying, and he, either he gets his badly adapted comic dialogue, or he gets really bad gimbal speak. Rick, who just is pretty much the villain, he keeps making bad decisions. Daryl, who is the villain, and I swear to God, he's like a double agent for Negan. That's why he keeps getting everyone on his team killed, because he's angry and impulsive. He gets everyone on his team killed. I mean, there was Carl. Carl was getting to where he was okay, but, you know, he's gone now. I like Morgan, but that's about it. Um, Carol, uh, has she and Rick had a single scene together in, like, three seasons? I don't think they have. Like, we go so long with without characters talking to each other, and it's like, what the fuck? But, yeah, this show has become a mess. It has just become a mess. Uh, it's, it's really depressing, because... You know, when Glenn and Abraham died, that, to me, I didn't want to keep watching. And I did it. I kept watching. I made the hard choice. I kept watching. I kept waiting for the reward. I kept waiting for the moment where it would get better, where it would get easier. And that moment never came. A season and a half later, and I'm still angry about Glenn and Abraham dying. I'm not saying that them staying alive would have made the show better. But at least their characters were always well written. So maybe they would have survived the the... Uh, the, the the wrath of Gimple speak. I mean, I don't know. Um, I just know that The Walking Dead, as a as a show, has fallen apart. I still like the comics. I still think the comics are good, but the show has just gotten so fucking bad, so goddamn bad. I don't I don't know if I care about season nine. I don't I I I don't know if I care about the whispers because it's just too late. The damage is done. They need to fire Scott Gimple. AMC needs to give The Walking Dead more of a budget so that they don't have crappy filler episodes of two characters in each episode and a bunch of filler. They need more of a budget, and they we need to get rid of Scott Gimple. Someone, AMC, they need to fire Scott Gimple. We need we need Scott Gimple out of the picture. Scott, Scott Gimple did one good thing, and that was 
he made season four better. You know, season three had a few questionable decisions. I did not like Lim Azara, but oh my god. I mean, god damn, let's go back and watch season three. Compare season three to season seven and season eight. Season three is like a masterpiece. I wish Glenn Mazzara stayed. I mean, there was like a problem because Glenn Mazzara wanted to kill off Carl. Well, guess what? Guess what just happened? We ki they killed off Carl. So, fuck you. I mean, yeah, I didn't like Andrea's death, but for the most part, the, 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 the story was engaging. The characters were consistent. I liked a lot of people that were still alive back then. Season 3 looks like a masterpiece compared to Season 7 and Season 8, and yes, the show sort of had a problem with direction, where to go next at the end of Season 3, so Scott Gimble, he came in, and he kind of brought it back, he kind of brought some new life into the show, but he stayed on for too long. It's, it's, it's like he's just, he's gotten his head all the way up his ass, and he's, he has too much power, he's, he's gonna fuck up Fear the Walking Dead, I mean, you know, that show's already crap, so he's just gonna, like, put the final nail in the coffin. Um, I mean, it, yes, he made season four better. You know, he brought season four up a little bit, but it, it, and season five was good, but after that, it just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, and season eight is a joke. Season eight is awful, and it's because of Scott Gimple. He just, he had some good ideas when he started, and he was given too much power, and has too much control, and now The Walking Dead is shit, because of AMC, they don't want to spend money, they're cheap as fuck, they, 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 at this point they should learn this, they should have learned their lesson years ago, and they haven't, and then Scott Gimple is just awful, and his writing is awful, and his gimple speak is awful, and he doesn't understand the characters, he doesn't understand what the audience wants. It's just one lame cliffhanger after another lame cliffhanger. Um, you know, Glenn under the dumpster, cliffhanger, ratings grab. Who did Negan kill? Cliffhanger, ratings grab. You know, Carl got bitten, cliffhanger, ratings grab. It's all cliffhangers and, and ratings grabs. Every time there's a good moment, it's usually the, the end of the episode, so, you know, they can try to get you to watch the next episode, and then the next episode is crap, and the cliffhanger wasn't worth it. It's a shame, because The Walking Dead is something that so many people have, have come together. The Walking Dead is probably the closest we ever got to the next Star Wars. Star Wars is crap now because of Disney. It, it sucks that there's just nothing mainstream that it's bringing everyone together anymore. There's nothing. The two big things that brought pe like, people together, I know there's things like Doctor Who and Game of Thrones, but let's be honest, Star Wars and The Walking Dead, like those are probably the two biggest things. The Walking Dead was the next Star Wars for me. It brought together so many people, grandchildren and, and grandparents that would never sit on the same couch and watch the same TV at the same time because they wouldn't want to watch the same movie or the same show. The Walking Dead, and they're all together. It's brought so many people together. It's brought so many people together as fans, and people have become friends, and and probably like gotten married because of it. Like it's brought so many people together, and now it's just it's 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 awful. It's awful. It's inexcusably bad. Even like the biggest fans are like, wow, this show sucks now because it does. Some people are still in denial about it, but it is bad. It's. I think it's too late for it to get better. I think it's too late for it to redeem itself. I think the damage is done. It's it's time for The Walking Dead to just be put out of its misery. And it probably won't be, because the writers are always like, oh, oh, 12 seasons, oh, oh, 10 seasons. You can't even make season 8 good. Stop talking about five years ahead of time where you get your next five years of paychecks. Stop worrying about your paychecks and focus on making the show good. So, yeah, it's... It's over. I, I don't care about season 9. I don't care about the whispers. It's too late for it to redeem itself. It Just put it out of its misery. If it can't do All Out War right, if, if it does All Out War this badly, if this is what they thought we wanted from All Out War, if this is what they thought we wanted to see, what are the odds that they're going to get the Whisper War right? What are the odds they're going to get the Whispers right? If they can't, if, if All Out War is this much of a colossal disaster, they're not going to get the whispers right. 
And I don't know if I care that they do, because the show has been so bad for so long now. Every time I, I go back to the DVDs and try to watch them, I'm going to be like, oh, I should just skip season 7 and season 8. I should just skip this large chunk. And it's just going to be awkward, because you're going from, like, season 6 to season 10 or whatever, you know, and it, it's, it's just awkward, because I don't... It's physical torture to watch season 7 and season 8. Physical torture. The first half of this season has been physical torture. I don't know if the second half is going to be better. I'm not holding my breath. I think The Walking Dead is just a pile of shit now, and we should just let it die, stop watching it, let it get cancelled, or whatever. I mean, it'll probably never get cancelled. They'll probably try to end it with, with season 9 or season 10, but put it out of its misery. The damage is done. The Walking Dead is over. You know, make a new show or make a movie or something, make some more video games, but as a show, it's over. It's awful. It's And it's a goddamn shame. But hey, we always have the, the first five or six seasons. I think the first five or six seasons are fairly good. Oh, the first five. <laughs> Season six had some pretty big problems, but I won't get into that. Season six is nowhere near as bad as seven, and seven is... N like half as bad as season eight. Season eight is just god fucking awful. Just end it already. Put The Walking Dead out of its misery. While there's still some people out there that are still desperately clinging on to the good memories, don't completely run it into the ground. Don't completely demolish it. Don't completely demolish the fan base. Kill it while there's still a little bit of good nostalgia put it out of its misery. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos a day, so please hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I'm Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!